Nursing homes down 200,000 frontline employees with more COVID cases on the way. And a new survey shows 94% of all nursing homes still facing staffing shortages. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, June 30th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly on our website at nacacna.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. The U.S. is facing a certified nurse aid shortage of about 200,000, with the situation made more dire by a surging number of unvaccinated aides being forced to quarantine with cases of a new COVID-19 variant. That was the warning on Monday afternoon from Lori Porter, our co-founder and CEO of NACA, the only national CNA association. She was a guest on a leading age COVID-19 webinar. Bemoaning the twin crises won't resolve them, but neither will just throwing money at potential employees, Porter said, adding that Medicaid pressures continue to make routine higher pay and better benefits elusive for many. A survey published by the American Healthcare Association last week, and one that we'll cover in detail in just a bit, revealed 94% of long-term care facilities are struggling to hire staff. Porter suggested providers need to look at their individual recruitment efforts to address oversights and messaging, but she also suggested a federal recruitment campaign that could be part of the solution. Quote, people want to be part of a team, Porter said. We want to blame the millennials because they don't want to work, but I would hire millennials all day long because they don't want to make a job, they want to make a difference. Some sociologists and economists have taken to calling the current labor challenge the Great Resignation. Porter noted that it's important to consider the cultural shift spurred by COVID-19 and seize on the industry's intangible benefits to shift momentum. Quote, pay and benefits are things we're very weak on as a profession, she said. But the second thing we have to sell are our emotional benefits, and we're very high on emotional benefits. If care centers and employers will learn how to articulate it in a way that resonates with, I want to be part of something that makes a difference. Of course, millennials are also among the most unlikely to want the COVID-19 vaccine, another issue that continues to plague providers. Porter told leading age members that vaccine coverage among her membership remains her top concern. She has worked to counter hesitancy with information from AMDA rather than the CDC or CMS and appealing with direct messages about the responsibility to residents. But Porter said many of the workers her organization represents are still reluctant, at least until the vaccines receive full FDA approval. Quote, many of their arguments are becoming weakened. More vaccines have been taken and no one has grown a third arm yet, said Porter, who noted the rate of unvaccinated people in our area of Missouri recently led to two major hospitals here to reopen their COVID units. She continued, now is the time to push harder than ever. Challenges associated with hiring and retaining long-term care staff has gotten worse for about three quarters of nursing homes this year, according to a new survey from the American Healthcare Association and National Center for Assisted Living. Findings released last Wednesday revealed that a total of 73% of nursing home providers believe their organization's overall workforce situation has generally gotten worse when compared to 2020, despite the presence of vaccines this year. The survey also found that 94% of all nursing homes have faced a shortage of staff members within the last month. For example, in Florida, providers face a projected demand for 3.4 million direct care employees by 2030, which would be an about 50% increase since 2015, according to the Florida Healthcare Association. Quote, the survey results clearly indicate that the long-term care workforce is facing serious challenges and our country must make significant investments to help address these shortfalls, Mark Parkinson, president and CEO of Aka Incal, said in a statement. He continued, lawmakers across the country must prioritize long-term care to ensure the profession has the necessary resources to maintain a strong workforce. 
Survey data also shows that 81% of nursing home providers believe higher reimbursement would help them offer better pay and benefits and in turn help recruit and retain staff. Close to half of providers, 48% said improved perception of working in the industry or with seniors would improve their ability to hire and keep staff. The survey included 616 responses from nursing homes and 122 from assisted living communities. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.